morning and welcome back to our Delhi to Kanyakumari road trip series. Today we are embarking on another exciting leg of our journey from the beautiful coastal town of Govillam to LAP renowned for its mesmerizing backwaters and serene houseboat cruises. After spending the night in Govillam, it's time for us to hit the road once again. But this time we are taking a different route back towards Delhi with plenty of new sights and experiences awaiting us along the way. Our destination for today is LAP which is around 159 km from Govillam. It will take 4 hours to reach as the roads in this part are mostly two lane highways. Before we set off on our adventure, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join us on this epic journey as we discover the true essence of India. We were thinking of taking the car for a wash since the day we reached Kanyakumari but could not find anything on the way. We found this car wash just 10 minutes outside Kovalam on the way to LAP. So we stopped here for a much needed car wash service. It's 11.30 am and the car is all cleaned up. We are on the National Highway 66 which is the Panwal Kochi Kanyakumari Highway. NH66 is a long busy national highway that runs roughly north-south along the western coast of India from Kanyakumari to Panwal in Maharashtra. Although you can see that the work is still in progress, it is being widened to four lanes with space to accommodate future expansion to six lanes. So your average speed is going to be 40 km per hour here. Running parallel to the Western Ghats, it touches the shores of Arabian Sea at some points, one of which is Alapuza in Kerala. We are now driving on the Kolam Bypass, which was built after the 2018 floods. The bypass has three major bridges, giving stunning views over the Ashtamudi Lake. It also cuts the travel time between Alapuza and Thiruvananthapuram district of Kerala. It's 1.15 pm now, we are in Kolam and we are going to stop at a restaurant for lunch. While it's true that multi-cuisine restaurants are very few along the highways, I've discovered a treasure in every authentic South Indian meal on this journey. Having the authentic taste of my favorite sambar rice is rather a delightful experience I've come to relish. So we are back on the roads after the lunch break. This is the Nindakara Bridge which is well known as the fishing hub of South India due to its long seashore area. Now we are very close to our stay. This is the Thotapalli Spillway Cum Bridge on the National Highway 66 between Alapuza and Thiruvananthapuram. This spillway is used to regulate water levels in the paddy field of Alapuza district and is a drainway out to the Arabian Sea. This is the point where NS66 touches the Arabian Sea.
The total tolls cost around rupees 180 in between Kovalam and LAP. We have booked an Airbnb in LAP because we were craving some home cooked food and Airbnbs are the best option when you need the comfort of a home in a tourist place. Apparently our flat was still not ready when we reached there so we decided to explore the Alapuza beach in the meanwhile. The beach was just 10 minutes drive from our stay. One best thing about this beach is that you can bring your vehicle without any worries here as there are many parking areas available throughout the length of the beach. The beach is very clean, also proper restrooms and changing rooms were also available. After enjoying a good bath in the sea, we checked into our Airbnb for some much needed rest. Next up are the tranquil waterways, lush greenery and traditional houseboats together creating a magical scene that feels like stepping into a timeless paradise. Stay tuned for the next one. Till then goodbye and happy exploring.